What's up, Hot Wheelers? Jasper here. And uh, you've probably seen the cars that are lying out in front of you many times by now. These Fast and Furious Walmart exclusives have been out now for, I guess, about a month, maybe a little over a month. And they've been coming out in the main line for uh, a little bit longer, maybe. Uh, so these are no big news here, other than the fact that I found a completely stocked stuffed, not one, but two Fast and Furious end caps today at a Walmart on the way home from a hunt that I decided to go on. Uh, so I'm going to get to that in a minute. But uh, so, so I know you've seen these cars before, but stick around for the story. It's a good one. Or it's, it's a good find. But I went just to get some older cars, actually. I went to an HEB Plus, which is like a Kroger for those of you that have Kroger's. So this is a um, ATB Plus is a lot like that, grocery store. And I picked up some older cars that uh, I'd been wanting to pick up. Love those, um, love it when you can pick up older cars in the store. So I'll just plow through these really quick. You've seen them before, but just want to show them to you. Go down memory lane like we do often here on the Jasper Joe network or whatever. 70 Camaro in black, really love it. Wanted to get a couple more so I could open one. This is a great little casting. This is from the C case. A lot of these are from the C case. Here's a uh, blue Monte Carlo. Uh, this came in a Zamac, which is really cool. We talked about that in one of the previous videos. Uh, blue's pretty nice and icy. Not my favorite color for the Monte, but uh, cool nonetheless. C case. Really like this one the 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator in the orange and blue with the Goodyear tampos. Love that Goodyear tampo. Nice wheels. Uh, nice detail on the top here. Uh, don't necessarily care for the blue spoiler or interior, but that's alright. Still love this casting. I have an older one in green that I really like. This also came in a Zamac, which I am looking for. Hint, hint. Uh, but this one is pretty awesome, pretty much. Cool as can be. That's a C case as well. Just get my focus right here. This one, the Plymouth Roadrunner, not a bad uh, car here. I think I like this yellow better than the black that came in a recolor in a, in a subsequent case. But uh, this one feels a little, I don't know, cheaper than the, some of the other cars. But uh, this this color was nice. hadn't hadn't really picked this one up yet. So those red line tires are nice, or the red on the tires works really good. Another C case car. Picked up a little bug. Don't normally collect these, but um, I have some friends and family that would probably like to have this, maybe. Nice little color for the bug, and this is from 2012. So, again, you can pick up these older models sometimes at your local Kroger or dollar store or whatever. Oh, yeah. This one is bad to the bone, man. I was so happy to pick a couple of these up. The uh, 49 Drag Merc, pretty souped up and souped out and uh, pretty awesome for a basic car, don't you think? Got the, the cool sort of clear block engine you can see into it. It's got the plastic piece and it's got the metal inside there so you can actually see. It's like a see-through thing there, which is really cool. Uh, and then um, nice chrome detail and, all the, of course, all the tampos and the... the paint stripes and stuff. There's a little bit of a paint splotch error here, but whatever. And then the stuff on the back here, the parachute, the drag tail, and the bar. So this is pretty awesome. Again, you've probably seen this a million times, but I'm really excited to get this, and it's nice and thick, too. All right, so <clears throat> now I did that, and then I went to a Walmart on my way home just to check. And Now, I had been to this Walmart... Uh, a week or so before and I saw the Fast and Furious end cap and it was totally cleaned out just ravaged somebody had just taken everything out of it so I thought well that there goes that I'll never see that again so I went today and like I said I found a overflowing fountain of Fast and Furious cars uh, and keep in mind this is June early June first week of June 2013 these cars have been coming out for about a month now I guess and when they first hit stores the end caps got cleaned out pretty quick and uh, that was pretty much it 
So here's the question I have for you guys, because I'm going to show you some cool stuff here. But uh, I don't know if they're doing a restock, if they're going to restock these since they were so popular, or if this was just a fluke. You know, I don't know if this Walmart just had more than they could handle and had to stock them differently or what. So these have been talked about a million times. Uh, Master Max 714 unwraps all of them. I think Diecastic has looked, Diecastic 1 has looked at all of them. Um, I'm sure a lot of other folks have looked at all of them, but I'll just show them to you real quick. The 11 Dodge Charger RT from Fast Five. The and uh, just to show you here, there's the duplicate car on the bottom, so I have two full sets. I won't show you each twice, but you can see there's duplicates on top and bottom here. So that first one, um, Dodge Charger RT 2011. This one is the 2009 Nissan GTR. This is the Toyota Supra, which is from. Uh, Fast and the Furious. This one is from Fast Five. Here is the Dodge Charger RT, again from the first Fast and Furious. This is my favorite one. This one came in the main line as well in a lot of different colors. Love that one. This one's really awesome too. This is the 08 Dodge Challenger SRT8. Had a couple of these with an error, with a fractured um, uh, windshield passenger door piece right there. Showed that in a previous video. Seven of eight. I'm not showing these in order. That's five. Then we have um, the Chevelle, which is in the primer sort of look here. Not too shabby. Fast and the Furious. I'm not doing these in order. You can look at uh, Master Max 714 or uh, or Diecastic if you want to see the whole set in order and all that stuff. Here's the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This is Fast and Furious, too fast, too furious. And as you might expect, yes, it is a complete set. I found the 67 Ford Mustang. Um, and you'll, I'm going to show you the footage at the end of this video. And I apologize for the crappy footage at the end of the video. Uh, but there were two end caps. And these were on the bottom. They had been put on the bottom as overflow. Now, then you're going to see... A second end cap. So this is pretty cool, right? This is a pretty cool find, right? Two full sets of Fast and Furious cars in early June when most of those sets have been pretty much depleted. So my question is, are they coming out with more? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome, right? I mean, we should be pretty happy with that, right? We should be pretty happy with what we found, right? That's a pretty awesome find, right? Um, yeah, look at this. There are not just one Mustang to go with this set, two Mustangs to go with two sets, but one, two, three, four more Mustangs. That's a total of six Mustangs from the Fast and the Furious. Four out of eight. Uh, what am I missing here, guys? Did I just, uh, you know, is this the fountain of Fast and Furious that I found here? Or are these cars going to become more available? Or did I just, you know, I don't know. You guys tell me. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this myself. Now listen, I left three more of these on the shelf. I don't really like to gorge, but I know this is the chase car. I wanted to get two complete sets. And then these are just hanging out there. I left three more on the shelf. I didn't take them all. And I've got the video at the end to, to show you that I left three there. Two Fast and Furious end caps. A total of eight or nine. I can't remember. Eight or nine of these Mustangs. So, uh, I don't know what happened. It's just another weird day in the Hot Wheels world. And I wanted to share it with you. So check out the rest of the video if you want of the... Um, not so great footage from Walmart. I feel weird about filming in Walmart. I always think they're going to kick me out or something. But uh, started out as just a regular haul, ended up hitting the Fast and Furious fountain. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Would love to have you as a subscriber. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.